Hello there. Welcome back. Now today I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the 7 out of 10 tests that I mentioned a few weeks ago as part of the Repertoire Rich Teaching Studio. If you remember, I was talking about how you can use 7 out of 10 to ascertain whether a piece is ready to kind of be ticked off on the uh, 20, 30, 40 piece challenge, whatever it is you're doing. And do go back and watch that previous video if you want to just have a quick refresher on that. But teachers say to me, yes, but seven out of ten, that, you know, that, is that good enough for a studio recital? And at this time of year where maybe thoughts are beginning to turn to having studio recital, that could be exciting, first live one in a long time. Um, then I would say, OK, so it might do, but it probably would be better to get one of your uh, pieces up to a higher standard. So how do we do that? Well, we start with the seven out of 10 again. If you remember, it's about playing through the piece, the student plays through the piece, and have they got the rhythm, seven out of 10? Is it, has it got enough integrity? As for the pitches, are all the notes correct? The character is that there. But actually, when we perform pieces, we really want to take ownership. So I will start with the 7 out of 10, but I will take it further. And I will tend to use, at that point, um, a printed sheet. Now, this is one that I've created for my own teaching studio. Nothing special about it, but it's I get the student to do it. You know, I can play all the right notes, and they have to now assess themselves and give themselves a little tick. Not quite there yet. Or making progress, that's where the 7 out of 10 comes. And above is the rocking. You can use whatever word you like. I can play all the right notes. I can play all the right rhythm. I can play with a steady beat. I can play at the right tempo. I can play with dynamic contrast. I have thought about the title. Now, that's a good thing, isn't it? How often do they forget to think about the title of the piece? Um, I have thought about the title and can tell a story. Here's an interesting one. I feel very confident when I'm playing the piece. Now, if they're going to be playing it in a recital or to somebody else, they need that level of confidence. And I find kids are very, very honest, and adults indeed, how confident they feel. This one though, this next one is absolutely crucial for taking it beyond seven out of 10, getting eight, nine, total, totally really owning the piece, and that is, I enjoy playing the music. Now, if they don't enjoy playing the music, if they are still in on a five, you're probably not going to get it to a studio recital level because they just don't have the motivation. On the other hand, they might be enjoying it, but know that they're still not quite there, in which case they will be fine. So if they're on 8, 9, 10 for enjoying the music, absolutely, you're on to a winner. Because the last, P, the last question that I ask in this particular um, way is, the piece is as good as I can make it. Um, so the enjoyment needs to be quite high. They probably are still on a, maybe a five or six. The piece is as good as I can make it. So the next question is then, so how are you going to make it better? How are you going to increase that level of confidence? And this is really important. So they can then turn over, and on the sheets I use, it says I want to work on, and I get them to write down three specific things to work on, for, um, from the list and they go back to the list and then maybe some of the rhythms were dodgy so they only gave themselves five or six out of ten so then you can talk to them and get them to explain how they're going to work on the rhythm maybe it's the character maybe they haven't thought about this title or the story this works a treat because it helps them to focus and actually you don't have to write it all down they do it all for themselves and that's their practice then for the following week so, Repertoire Rich Studio absolutely can go along with having a studio recital, but you're going to want to help them just to move their pieces to that next level, which is really where we want them to be as much as possible, taking ownership, feeling confident, and really enjoying and motivated by the music that they're making. Well, I hope that's answered a few questions that might have been out there about that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.